During the spring, Michigan State's football team received a visit from the Beautiful Lives Project, and it was a great day at the Duffy Doherty Football Building. Five months later, the nonprofit benefiting children and adults with disabilities returned to East Lansing, only this time the football gloves were traded in for a bat and ball. Our Ian Crest was there and shares how NSU is one of one. Nearly 50 athletes came out to McLean Stadium to learn the game of baseball and softball. Just get those hands as far out extended in front of those eyes as you can and sink that butt low. <laughs> those were just some of the tips given out on Wednesday and it was all made possible thanks to the co-founder of the Beautiful Lives Project, Bryce Weiler. It's not about me, it's about the willingness of others to allow people who have disabilities to have experiences and opportunities. It was back in the spring when Michigan State baseball coach Jake Boss received a phone call and he just decided to answer it because why not? It just so happened to be Bryce Wilder and the Beautiful Lives Project and they were able to make today's event happen and because of it, Michigan State becomes the first college baseball and college softball programs in the entire country to host this nonprofit. I have just happened to answer the phone and we and we spoke and he sent me some a few emails with uh, the, the, uh, the programs that he's done across the country. I thought uh, it'd be a great experience for our guys. Another recent no-brainer for Boss was the hiring of Adam Eaton as the program's director of player development. And after the event, the 2019 World Series champion had a chance to play catch with Wyler. Yeah, that's the only reason you're put on this earth is to serve other people and to help other people out. And, and that was the message today was to make sure you go out of your way and, and impact somebody else's life. Eaton and Boss share a mutual friend and it's what led the former major leaguer to East Lansing. So, has there ever been someone on Boss's staff with a World Series ring? No, no, never, no, no. Those things aren't, uh, they're not as prevalent as you might think, I guess. In East Lansing, Ian Kress, Six Sports.